today we are discussing about uh, estimation of vitamin C for this estimation we need uh, two chemicals one 2,6 dichlorophenol endophenol dye and second 4% oxalic acid first we will discuss about uh, how to prepare this uh, dye 2,6 dichlorophenol endophenol dye we should measure 2,6 dichlorophenol endophenol dye 26 mg we should take and uh, sodium bicarbonate 21 mg both we should mix in 100 ml of distilled water then after preparing we should prepare 4% oxalic acid this second chemical for this uh, we should take 4 grams of oxalic acid and add 100 ml of water this is 4% oxalic acid ok then what we have to do uh, we should uh, get the sample any fruit sample how much we have to take sample size generally we measure the pulp we should take uh, around 500 milligram sample means half gram sample we should take 500 milligrams sample then we should macerate it to a fine paste in pistol and mortar and we should dilute it with 4% 10 ml of 4% oxalic acid then after thoroughly mixing what we take, what we should take we should filter it with a normal filter plastic filter or any filter paper what my number one filter paper after filtering we should take only 0.5 ml means half ml of that I start into a 250 ml beaker then add 2.5 ml of 4% oxalic acid then you titrate this sample with uh, this dye already we prepared 2,6 dichlorophenol endophenol dye with sodium bicarbonate that uh, chemical with that chemical you should titrate then when you are titrating in acidic medium as soon as the drop of the this dye blue color dye enter this into acidic medium it becomes uh, red pink color but within seconds it disappears because of vitamin c in the sample so drop by drop we add drop immediately it disappears because of vitamin c as soon as the completion of vitamin c means after complete reaction of vitamin c then it will give light pink red means it is the end point then we should stop we should measure the volume of the dye used for titrating the 0.5 ml of this extract and we should calculate the vitamin c content in the sample how to calculate i will tell later and in the same way what we have to do we should compare this uh, dye with uh, standard vitamin c we should prepare simultaneously we should prepare standard vitamin c vitamin c means ascorbic acid what we take 40 milligrams per liter means uh, we should take 4 milligrams of uh, this ascorbic acid in 100 ml it is equivalent to 40 milligrams of uh, um, ascorbic acid per 1 liter means 40 ppm then you prepare after preparing in the same way you should titrate take only 0.2 ml of this standard 40 ppm vitamin c solution and add 2.5 ml of 4 percent oxalic acid then you can again titrate take the titer value and you use it for calculation of the strength of the dye with this standard vitamin C. 
then use this uh, data for calculation of vitamin C in the sample. So I will tell calculations in the next part. This is the procedure. Again, in next next class, I will tell how to calculate vitamin C in the sample. In first lecture, we discussed about how to estimate vitamin C with this dye. Now, we are discussing about calculation part. How to calculate vitamin C in the fruits. We have taken here in this program, I wrote a program for calculation of vitamin C. In Excel program, this you see this uh, program in first original sample. How much it is? It should be typed in G column, third row G column. Here 0 0.23 grams. Okay. Next uh, volume of four percent oxalic acid solution added to the sample for extraction. 10 ml. It is in G column fourth row. So automatically in fifth row G column I wrote a program that is G3 plus G4. So we will get 10.23. This G3 plus G4 I am mentioning in J column in red letters. Okay. Then volume of dilute sample taken for titration. After extraction, we got the solution. From that solution, we have taken 0 0.2 ml only, very little. Generally, if we take very little sample, we will get accurate values. Why do you know? If here, we can easily titrate and clarity of the color change will be very clear and we can add less amount of oxalic acid only 2.5 ml oxalic acid we can add and we can see the color change clearly so we should take very less amount of sample and we should add very less amount of oxalic acid only 2.5 ml of 4% azelic acid we are adding and titrating with the dye. So, next in ninth row, G column, volume of dye consumed to oxidize vitamin C, that is 1.3 ml. Here I wrote to TV in yellow color. Actually, it should be in ml. TV means title value. Then, next to 11th row, in G column, Standard vitamin C solution concentration. For reference sake, we should take standard solution. We should prepare some standard 50 ppm, 40 ppm, 60 ppm, 100 ppm, like that. Ppm means parts per million. Here, we prepared 45 ppm solution, means in solution. 1 liter solution vitamin C will be 45 milligrams 45 milligrams per liter that is ppm so we prepared 45 ppm solution and we added only 2.5 percent to 2.5 ml 4 percent oxalic acid and titrated with vitamin I mean titrated with the dye this dye blue color dye then we got title value, it is uh, given in 15th row. Title value with dye for standard 1.6 ml. Okay, then in 17th row, we wrote a program. Here, 
g11 into g13 bracket close divided by bracket begin g15 into 1000 this program was written in gth column we should type is equal before this program so we'll get this uh, 0 0.005625 milligrams of vitamin c so 1 ml of dye this uh, 26 dichlorindophenol dye equal to 0 0.005625 milligrams of vitamin c, vitamin c according to standard so by using this we are calculating vitamin c in our sample so in 18th row with column again we are convert, converting this uh, value into micrograms so 1 milligram is equal to 1000 micrograms that's why we are multiplying g17 with 1000 in 18th row g, g column so that is uh, given in uh, red letters you can see those letters only typed in g column before that we should put e is equal generally it will be executed and we will get the number otherwise you can see this red color letters same letters will be typed there so we should uh, to execute this program we should uh, type e is equal before uh, typing g17 into 1000 in g column so we will get the number next uh, in 21th row 21th row in deep column again we wrote a program you should type it equal and bracket begin g9 into g17 into g5 into 100 bracket close divided by again bracket to open g7 into g3 these letters should be typed in d column so we get to 163 so final answer is 163 milligrams per 100 grams here we have taken pulp so here in this we did in red goa red goa means um, you know red goa red color goa so we got which means see 163 milligrams per 100 grams of fruit pulp so you can also use this program you can also type in the same way and you can interpret your results and you can utilize this program by doing the experiment what i expressed in the first lesson